There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I the place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? What? Yes. What? Oh, no. no, no, no. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> They said that their, their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff, but folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's, either, it's not, can't be because I'm a woman, but perhaps they did not like my politics. Yeah. And I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive. My bakers come in two or three in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community. So if you haven't heard the story by now, Whoopi Goldberg, as you can see there, learning the hard way that going after a Staten Island institution can be a recipe for controversy. Thousands of customers lined up outside Holtemans Bakery to show their support after The View co-host accused that bakery of political discrimination. Community leaders calling on her to apologize, but instead, here's the update. She appears to double down in this new video. It seems yes, welcome back. Whoopi Goober is still under fire after refusing to address the bakery backlash. If you remember, I put out a video on Monday. Whoopi Goober made it clear that this bakery refused to attend to her because of her politics. A lot of people blow this up on social media and it has reached that level. They are now calling Whoopi to address this immediately. Some says this lady should be fired on the view. When you take a look at the whole scenario, Whoopi Goober, to imagine that the bakery delayed to attend to her because of her politics, I don't get it. Must we always relate everything to racism? What exactly? I don't understand. It is important. We take an exclusive look into what is going on exactly. I have a couple of videos. I'm going to play Fox News did a segment on this. I'll take a look at these. Here's the update. She appears to double down in this new video. There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I never mentioned the name of the bakery or the location. It does seem a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday and we were told they couldn't process the order for my birthday because of an equipment failure, but somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using my name. But it's all okay, y'all, because I enjoyed my delicious dessert and I had a happy, sweet birthday. Looks like cleanup on aisle six to me. Joining us now is Staten Island Borough President Vito Vasella. Thank you very much for being here. We saw you at that news conference. I mean, you lit the crowd up. You have people lining up outside the bakery because they feel bad for what's happened to this, this institution, the Staten Island institution. Welcome to you. Did that clear anything up, that video with Whoopi Goldberg there? Yes, sometimes bad things tend to an advantage when I look at the whole situation and uh, the kind of support this bakery is receiving is amazing. A lot of people are lining up something they have never experienced in a long time. Whoopi Goobax did this. I don't know if on purpose, but it has turned out to be beneficial to the bakery. People are supporting these people like never before. Imagine someone traveling a distance just to support this lady. Because it turned out, the way they look at it, like she wanted to destroy this business. We were expecting Whoopi to address this properly, not to struggle to backtrack. It is insane. We waited on the art segment. Yesterday, we never had anything like that. These people are full of this. Some says the view should be pulled off on air. I don't know. What do you think after watching this whole situation? Is it right to always do this? If you go into somewhere, there are people in that location that don't even know you. They don't care about your politics. This place treat people the same because you are a celebrity. It does not mean because you are there. They have to attend to you first. You have to wait. 
follow the same line like any other person. And uh, first of all, the story here is this Halterman, the family is wonderful, the salt of the earth. Uh, they've had a business for 146 yeah. years. Uh, not many people can say that. They have an impeccable reputation. Uh, people love them and their business. And then this, this woman went on national television and basically misrepresented what happened. And you know, to have a platform like that and disparage, potentially, arguably defame a business that has no recourse in the court of public opinion, uh, and they were devastated. And what we said, we were gonna stand up for those businesses and we're not gonna take the abuse. The, the, she may have had the bully pulpit, but she came across as a bully, if you ask me. And the family not being used to this said, you know, what do we do? So the Staten Island community stood up and stood strong and stood up for the Halterman family, the Halterman bakery. And and I commend the Haltermans for just having the grace um, to, to take the high road. And the Staten Island community uh, stepping out, waiting online hour after hour to say we support Haltermans. But it could have been any small business. It could have been anybody who was attacked on the national airwaves. There's something they didn't do. You know, uh, as, 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 as a reporter, I step back from the story and I say, well, you know, could have something yeah. happened there that maybe we didn't see? Maybe there was somebody, I'm just, this is yeah. just me just, asking sure. you based on the facts that you have at hand. Could there have been somebody behind the register who didn't like the idea that this was for Whoopi Goldberg and said, mm, not today? So the facts are the boiler that they had in place that they need to make the cakes was about 60 or 70 years old. They were planning on replacing it. They didn't know how long it would take to replace. So Jill Holtman actually did the right thing by telling the woman, uh, we can't commit to it. We would hate for you to have a birthday party and the boiler would still be down. So, you know, go someplace else. And then the boiler was fixed, probably in less time than it, than they anticipated, and then people could buy cakes again. She was not the only one that was declined. So they sent somebody else in there. After the fact. After, the, after it was fixed. Correct. And so she connects the dots and says, oh, they'll serve them without my name attached to it, but they wouldn't serve me. Yeah, and she wouldn't take, she wouldn't, you know, the old expression, she wouldn't accept the truth. And somehow it was this, perhaps a degree of self-absorption that everybody thinks of politics every day. We just heard Jill, her and her workers are at work sometimes two or three o'clock in the morning to prepare every day. You think she really cares about politics? Her customer base or across the board, she wants to do well in business. My main concern was that this woman took to the national airwaves and sought to destroy a company. She and, and didn't say the name of the company and, and, and I'm not I'm not defending yeah. her in any way but you can see how some people behave. Whoopi Goober could not stand there to wear like any other person. Mm. She wanted to be treated like a celebrity. Something is not working well. Everybody's waiting for Whoopi to persevere and obey she just came immediately and blew this on air. She did not mention this bakery, but it was enough for people to know what happened. It went viral. They came out, released a statement about it, and people are struggling to defend her by saying, oh, she did not mention the bakery, or oh, it's like this. At a certain point, to me, she should not even say this. Struggling to seek sympathy or trying to play politics, it is not with okay. Not everything you do that. She didn't acknowledge that something got bad in this place. If she could have mentioned this on that video, I would not have any problem. The election that we just had was a repudiation of the status quo. An overly regulated system that is no longer responsive or delivering for the needs of the people or their beloved Behatted squirrels. Oh, R.I.P. Peanut. <laughs> Government is theoretically a constitutional system of checks and balances between equally powerful branches. But what government actually is, 